This is a tour of the STEM building, which uh, houses the Department of Computer Science. Uh, here's an outside view of the building, uh, which connects to the forum uh, over there on the left, and then even further to the left to the biology building and the rest of the School of Science. We're gonna walk down, we also see on the, uh, on the right uh, the Fursina building, which houses some of the uh, classrooms and teaching labs which, uh, which we are using in addition to uh, the classrooms and labs in the STEM building. Uh, currently, uh, this semester, all classes are taught in a remote-only environment. We have prepared for a flex environment where some students can teach, uh, can learn on campus while others uh, follow the classes remotely. Uh, we have experimented with this uh, for a couple of weeks this semester and we hope to uh, be able to do that next semester uh, depending on the conditions of the uh, pandemic. So right now uh, you will see that uh, access is actually only card based and limited to uh, faculty but normally this building is open uh, for for all students to come through we have all kinds of uh, precautions and signs uh, pandemic related uh, signs on the hallway uh, reminders to maintain uh, physical distance uh, as well as sanitizers uh, and uh, and places to check in for contact tracing. As we walk into the building, we see on the left one of our lecture rooms, uh, STEM, uh, STEM 102, uh, which, is, which is presented in a, in a separate video. On the right here, uh, we have the research lab where students and uh, computer science majors and faculty uh, work together in a collaborative environment on uh, research projects. This uh, lab is um, restricted to computer science majors uh, involved in research projects as well as computer science faculty and this lab is further described in a separate video. Uh, down here we have the student workshop which is a lab equipped with all the types of machines and uh, software that we have available throughout the building uh, and uh, throughout the department rather and uh, it is available for students 24-7 uh, uh, there are no classes taught in here uh, and this is an environment where students can come and work on their projects and homeworks outside uh, class, uh, class time. We're going to uh, continue to walk this, uh, the, the student workshop is also presented in a separate video. We're gonna continue walking down the hall here. Uh, and we're gonna look at some of our boards here uh, where we have some posters from uh, internship and mentored research presentations. These are, uh, these are actually mentored research presentations uh, of, uh, from, from previous years uh, of our students, as well as, uh, as a welcome to the department board with, uh, with department information. Continuing walking down, uh, additional mentored research project as well as a quick intro to our computer science faculty. And an LCD screen with uh, up-to-date information. We're gonna turn around here and direct our attention to ELSA, the Electronic Laboratory for Science and Analysis. This is actually our uh, high-performance uh, computing cluster. Uh, which is described in uh, in more detail in uh, in our uh, equipment description. Unfortunately, with uh, with the glare, it's not it's not as visible as as I as I would have hoped. 
but you can see the, the racks of servers here uh, through, the, uh, through the glass. Now, uh, this cluster is used by students and faculty, uh, not just in computer science, but throughout the School of Science for, uh, for research as well as for classwork. And here's, here are some, some nice visualizations um, based, on, uh, based on some of the research uh, that, is, uh, that is performed by students and faculty uh, in, in the School of Science. Uh, so down the hall here, we have some offices for some of our adjunct faculty as well as for our cluster administrator and continuing with offices and labs for uh, mechanical engineering. But in addition to that, we have uh, ample areas for, uh, for students to uh, relax or study and uh, connect. We're going to walk down the hall to uh, lab STEM 112. As we make our way to the end of the hallway, we find lab STEM 112, which is a teaching lab, uh, which I present in more detail in a separate video. We are now going to make our way upstairs. And we are walking down the hall uh, past biomedical engineering labs, making our way to the other end of the building where, where we started initially, but uh, on the second floor uh, to see the, uh, the computer science offices. Before we reach the computer science offices, at the end, we're gonna make a right here to show you the bridge to the biology building one of our favorite spots in the building because of the beautiful view to our main building, Green Hall. And on the other side to the lake and an outdoor classroom with a, uh, with a blackboard there in the middle. That is the biology building and we're gonna come through here just to show you another area for students to uh, gather, study together, or take a break up there, as well as down here at the cafe. All these locations currently empty for two reasons. Obviously the pandemic, uh, most, most of the students are studying remotely. Um, as well as Thanksgiving break, which started today. We're gonna turn around and make our way to the department offices. Here are our department offices. First, a few more posters, this time from internship presentations as well as some research presentations. Uh, our main office suite closed because of the pandemic uh, with space for our administrative assistant as well as student workers and the department chair's office over there. Walking down the hall, continuing with some posters. We get to our uh, faculty office area. Some whiteboards here for collaborative conversation and some desks and chairs uh, for students to wait or have a conversation in a larger group with the faculty. I'm gonna show you quickly one of, uh, one of the faculty offices, mine.
these offices are spacious enough to host one or two students for, for office hours. If we need more space, then, uh, then we need, the, if we're meeting with more students, then we move to uh, a larger area, such as the area out here, or the conference room, or some of the um, areas that you have seen before. Here is our conference room, which we mostly utilize for faculty meetings. Uh, equipped with an, an, an LCD screen uh, where we can connect our laptops. We also have a kitchen for the faculty, a copier room, and more faculty offices. And this concludes the tour of, uh, of our building. We wish we could host you here in person, hopefully soon.